What's up, Vikes? I'm Allie, and this is your Monday Report. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. If you are taking a dual credit course this semester, make sure to get your enrollment forms in now. The deadline has only been pushed back until this Friday. Variety show auditions will be held after school on February 5th. Fill out an audition form and turn in to Mr. Stoffer by the 3rd. I caught up with Mr. Alexander to learn more about what's going on this week. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Alex to talk about what's going on this week. So, what's happening? Okay, so first let's talk about um, your career and life planning class, or CALP, however you want to say it. Um, this Tuesday you're going to get your information about your student-led conferences. So you'll get your script, you'll get your template, you'll get a transcript, um, and you'll also get a graduation progress. And then there'll be a little, um, you know, like seven or eight minute um, movie that explains all that, how to read it, how it can help you when you're putting together your student-led conference. Okay, so student-led conferences um, are for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors. Uh, seniors, you did yours in October, so you're off the hook. Um, and so you need to get those scheduled, and I think you can go online in PowerSchool and schedule those now. So you have Wednesday evening from 5 to 7.30, and then Thursday from 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. So you have a lot of time. If your parents absolutely can't get there, there's senior teachers, there's PE teachers, there's people that don't have seminars, counselors, administration. You can come in, grab one of us will be your stand-in guardian that night and we would love to hear about your future plans so take those seriously it's an opportunity for you to work and talk about what you're going to do in the future um, enrollment is the next thing that's coming around the corner i'm not positive we'll have those um, meetings starting the end of this week that's why i'm hoping i just have to get my stuff done so or it'll be next week but you'll be getting enrollment materials and start thinking about next year um, also, visitations. We have the Navy coming today, be here at lunch, which you've already had. So, and then they'll be here during CLP time too. And then Wednesday, Emporia State will be here during CLP time. Um, last thing is dual credit. You know, I know there's an announcement um, that it's due, and you need to try to get that to Mrs. Varner as soon as possible. So, if there's any glitches or something, we can get those worked out by Friday. So have a great week. It's the first five-day week we've had in a long time. <laughs> awesome. Now back to the studio. We're going to go over with Chase with weather after this quick commercial break. Saudi <laughs> Breto. <laughs> Snowball. I'm gonna go home and watch some Disney Plus. See you tomorrow. Be safe, there's supposed to be a nasty storm. We're tracking round two of winter weather this week. Look at this, a much more widespread area of snow Well, howdy do you do to you, Vikes? I'm here to do the weather today, and we're here to talk about weather. So, let's start with today's forecast. It's going to start out today 
being about, you know, it's not going to change much through the afternoon. It's basically going to be, uh, you know, high 20s early. I mean, uh, high 20s, low 30s. Uh, again, later into the uh, night tonight. Then we're doing a little almanac, you know, going back in history, seeing what weather is going to look like, you know. And for the record high in Topeka, Kansas, we got 103 degrees Fahrenheit. And that was in 1936. And, you know, in January, that's pretty hot. I mean, people say global warming is happening now, but back then it was really something. And then 1989, 48 degrees. So we're having a... I heard we're having a wrestling game coming up, so we did a little outlook for that. And it appears it's going to be roughly about 30 degrees when that wrestling game happens, although it is going to be inside, so it's not going to matter. You know, the weather's not going to matter that much. Now, Josh normally has some sort of uh, radar-type graphic, so I thought, you know, I'm going to have that too. But instead of doing Topeka, I'm going to do this place called Thunder Bay. It's in Canada, and I just thought it sounded cool. Uh, we got some blue and we got some yellow, and some yellow up over in uh, Geraldton. And uh, Thunder Bay is also yellow, a lot of blue. Blue and Marathon. And also, there's a place called Wawa. That's pretty interesting. Anyway, now we have Today in History, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Of course, the famous musician turns 264. Man, that's pretty old. I wouldn't want to be that old. Kind of suck. Now, National Chocolate Cake Day is also today, so go and eat that chocolate cake for lunch if the school serves it. Now, on to your seven-day forecast. For uh, the most part in the week, it's going to stay in the 30s, but at the end of the week, it's going to start to warm up again to 46, and even on Sunday, getting to 56 degrees at the end of the week. So, Allie, back to you. Thanks, Chase. Now here's the sports news. Tomorrow, the boys' basketball team is hosting a pad night. A portion of all the proceeds will go to the program. Speaking of basketball, the themes have been posted for the rest of the week. Wednesday's theme will be Jersey, in honor of Kobe Bryant. Thursday will be PJs, and Friday will be the Chiefs. Thanks for watching, Vikes. Have a great week.